Registering for classes at Columbus State Community College is completed through self-service. Once you've met with your academic advisor and have your course recommendations, complete the following steps to search for classes, build your schedule, and register. To begin, visit the Columbus State website at www.cscc.edu. Click Cougar Web, which is listed at the top of the web page. Then log in using your Columbus State issued username and password. This is the same login information used to log into your Columbus State student email account and Blackboard. Now that you're logged in, click Course Search. Here you can search for classes in one of two ways. Click Subject Search if you want to browse courses by subject and view course descriptions. If you have course recommendations from your academic advisor, you can enter the information in Advanced Search. In Advanced Search, select the term you wish to register. Then select the subject and enter the course number. If you are unsure of the course number, you can leave this field blank to search all available courses within that subject. If you are registering for more than three classes, click Add More. You can filter the search results at the bottom by selecting preferred days, locations, times, and length. You can also leave this field blank to view all available courses for the semester. Click Search once you're ready. A table of all courses will display. You can use the filter on the left to further define your search results. Here you can see the section name and title, length of the course, instructional method, meeting information, faculty member if assigned, seats available, credits, and comments. Let's take a closer look at instructional methods and meeting information. This shows you the modality in which the course will be taught. For example, this course has an in-person lecture on Mondays from 6 p.m. to 7.50 p.m. in Delaware Hall, Room 111. The in-person lab portion is scheduled for Mondays from 7.51 to 9.50 p.m. in the same room. If the course says Live Online, or LO, the course meets at a scheduled time but virtually with real-time instruction. If the course shows Online Technology, or OT, the course is online with no scheduled instruction. This option allows you to interact with assignments, recordings, and more at a time that is convenient for you. Some web classes may have required on-campus or virtual assessments at set times to be determined by the instructor. These courses will show OA for on-campus assessments and VA for virtual assessments. The Comments column provides additional details about the course. Once you've identified the course you wish to register, click Add. Section details will appear. It lists meeting information, prerequisites, a course description, and lab fees. When you're ready, click Add Section to Schedule Builder. You'll see a notification at the top right that lets you know you have successfully added the course to your Schedule Builder, but it is not yet registered. The Schedule Builder is where you'll review your schedule, make course adjustments, and complete registration. Repeat these steps until all chosen classes have been added to your Schedule Builder. When you're ready, click the Academics tab. Then, add and drop classes and view schedule. The current semester schedule will appear. Use the arrows to view the upcoming semester. On the left, you'll see your selected courses. It will list important information for each individual class. These notifications will let you know if there is a time conflict, if the class is full, or if you haven't met the prerequisites. Click the X to remove classes you are not eligible to register. The center displays your schedule builder to see the days and times the courses meet. 
Here you can register for classes, adjust your schedule, or drop classes. If you want to change a section due to a time conflict, click View Other Sections. Other section offerings will be highlighted on the Schedule Builder. Online classes or classes with no meeting times will be listed at the bottom. Here you can choose a different section to register. Make sure to remove the previous section. Once you're ready to register your classes, you can click Register on each individual class or Register Now. Pay close attention to the notifications area to make sure all courses were registered successfully. Successfully registered classes will appear in green. If you wish to drop a class, you will do so on this page. Click Drop and then the course or courses you wish to drop. Please make sure you've discussed in-progress courses with your academic and financial aid advisors because dropping courses could impact your financial aid, account balance, and progress towards graduation. When you're ready, click Print to see your finalized schedule. Good luck in your upcoming semester at Columbus State.